hello my loves here to bring you back another review and this one i'm super 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 happy about i've been wanting to review this deck um since i got it but um not long after i got it i found out that um aria was doing to develop another tarot so i thought i'd wait until i got all of them so now that i have I think we'll go ahead because this is, if you've watched, for anybody who's watched any of my readings, you will usually see this deck on the table somewhere. I have it all the time. What I do is usually mix them up, but for the purposes of this, I've separated them into sections. This um, Oracle deck um, I found on a Kickstarter, a place where... Um, people who want to set up new projects or, or develop new um, products will go on um, and ask for support. So I'm really glad this one got up. It's in a beautiful box. Um, it's got the explanation of what's involved, what's in it. Um, inside, Aria's written a beautiful little note to everybody and included a bag of um, tourmaline, tourmalated quartz crystals so that you can um, charge your cards and keep them clean um, or use them however you want. Protect them while they're tucked into bed. Um, on the back, she's written a little bit. And because this has been updated, um, she's still on all um, social media and you can still find the Intuit Oracle.com, but it's um, published by Intuit Publishers.com now. It doesn't include a book. Um, it just includes uh, a little bit of information on the cards that are included. So the Oracle um, has 72 Nuance Oracle cards and I'll go through those with you um, to show you but they're broken up into two sections of 36 so there's the there's the 72 Oracle then you've got 24 animal cards, which I just adore. You've got planetary cards, planetary influences. You've got zodiac cards that are just can be used for anything. I will get into those. And as part of the um, Kickstarter campaign, there were bonuses as well so i'll just i'll when i get to the end i'll give you a quick run through the bonuses because i'm not sure if she's still doing those or if um if they were just for kickstarter i'm pretty sure at the moment they were just for the kickstarter campaign okay what else do we need to know all up there's 118 cards in this beautiful little box of joy and wonderment um they're uh linen style i don't know how how clear that is but it's it's a it's a matte linen style um might be easier on the back that's the back of the card um style card they're small they're only 6.2 by 10 centimetres or 2.44 by 3.9 inches. Um, and because they can be used in so many different ways, it, it kind of gives um, an amazing ability to add to any of your readings, whether you're a reader for other people or just for yourself. Um, quite often I will only use this just for myself um, with the information that I'm after for me. Oh, sorry for the 
slight interruption. The dogs have just entered the real the building. So you'll see that with the first 36, it's um, Lenormand. And we'll just go on from there. She does talk about about it um, more in depth in this. The first 36 cards are based on the Lenormand and contain the classic images, numbering and playing card inserts associated with it. You can use these 36 alone in the traditional style of Lenormand reading or in conjunction with other cards in the set. Excuse you. Stop. Stop. Yes, Mum. Um, the next 36 cards represent nuanced meanings and many two-card pairs from the Lenormand. Numbers, numbers from 37 to 72, they also bear the original Lenormand card to which it refers. So she's included in this. So this is card one, the rider. So she's included, I'm not going to go through this much depth with all of them, but she's included the traditional number, the traditional playing card reference, the name, the picture, and, and cue, um, keywords or cue words to go by. And in the second 37, you'll see the 37 with the reference to the one card and the horse is in, in that as well so i'll just swing through them and then we'll get into the others because there's a lot as 118 to go through so we've got clover the ship the house and i love the pictures she's picked too because it's not just you know your boring old cookie cutter house tree Clouds, snake, snake, a coffin. For those of you who know Lenormand, you'll you'll recognise these. Bouquet, a scythe, the whip, the birds. That's so beautiful. That card. Child, the fox. Loxy. The bear. Isn't she beautiful? Stars. Stalk. Dog. Tower. Garden. Mountain. I love the way this one has a reflection road <laughs> ain't that the truth 2020 mice heart ring book letter man woman Lily, sun, it's just hit spring here, so, you know, I'm all kinds of loving that card. Moon, just had a full moon. Whenever you're watching this, it doesn't really matter, but, you know, just some context for you. Key, lovely old key. Fish, anchor, and the cross. So that's the first 36. Then we move into the archer, which is related to the rider, remember? I'll just keep going. Wheel of Fortune. Tracks. Wine. Balance. Stalemate. Lighthouse, tornado, yeah, uh, snowflake, hmm. 
Water and Pestle, Vroom, Bridge, Child. Now you'll notice that there was a child in the first one and there's a child in the second one. Mask. Head of Pack. Double Rainbow. Imagine getting that in a reading with the Ten of Cups. Woohoo! That'd be nice. Stepping Stones. Third Person. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Clock. The Milky Way. Look at that. Islands, compass, yarn, <laughs> Celtic knot, diamond ring, light bulb, magnifying glass, man, Woman, fireworks, trophy, magnet, bellows, waterfall, ball and chain, and church. So they're the first 72. The animal cards are very similar. They've just got a number for the card, the title and the keyword. So again, you can use these as clarifiers. You can mix them all in. You can read them on their own. However you want to use these cards, you're the... Um, you're the magician of this deck. Um, so we've got rabbits. Rabbits. I've got a, um, a friend of my parents rings on the first of every month. And whoever says rabbits as soon as they answer the phone, they win that month. Don't ask me. Falcon. Ladybug. I love ladybugs. Stallion, Grasshopper, oh, Grasshopper, Swans, White Wolf, Beaver, so cute, Yee. Moose, Loons, Firefly, Dolphins, elephant, isn't that beautiful? Geese, lion, owl, raccoon, squirrel, eagle, wolverine. Sorry, every time I come across that card, I remember Brother Bear, the Disney movie with the two moose. And because I had two children 11 years apart, I, I got like 20 years of Disney movies. And the moose always went, I'm, I'm not a beaver, I'm a wolverine. I love it. I love a wolverine. Albatross. Crow. Butterfly and Hummingbird. Isn't it beautiful? So a lot, like I was saying before, a lot of these can be used as clarifiers. You know, if you um, were asking, is this a solid relationship or something similar to that? Um, and it came up with a loons card. You know, it, you could say, yep, this is a fairly, uh, a fairly good one. 
um, solid relationship or if it came up with um, that it could be more of a passionate relationship you know um, don't fence me in kind of relationship um, so they're really good for whatever you're working with the planetary cards are awesome because not only do they you know um, represent each planet they give you the keywords and they also represent um, a card in the major arcana of the um, standard tarot so combined with these cards here you have the whole major arcana that you can you can use um, and then depending on your knowledge you could go through and pick out cards that related to the others um, again use this deck however you wish but we've got so we've got the sun and the moon and the card that it rep, um, aligns with we've got mercury and the theme and what it means is a great for learning really 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 good for learning um, Venus Mars Jupiter Saturn Saturn Uranus Neptune and Pluto Pluto has given 2020 a whole lot to contemplate in fact all of the major planets have with their retrogrades now these cards are also represent i mean these cards can be used for anything 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 they can be used as a card in the major arcana this one's the chariot they can be used as the um trump cards of the minor arcana king queen and they don't have a knight and a messenger but they do have the princess or the prince depending on whether the element is a feminine element or a masculine element so water has a feminine element um and fire has a masculine element so it will be the prince of fire so you can use them for those you can use them as the zodiac sign that they represent cancer scorpio pisces all sorts of things you can use them for a timing card when will this happen when is this likely to occur and it will give you timing for that it will tell you the ruling planet of that sign um, and what that means. So these cards, you know how I was saying they're great for learning. These cards are awesome for learning. So you've got, you know, we'll start with the water element. You've got, and these are cups, king of water, queen of water, princess of water, also known as the king, queen and princess of cups. Um, You've got Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. Then you've got Earth, which is also known as Pentacles. You've got the Princess of Earth, the Queen of Earth, and the King of Earth. So you've got um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. But you've also got more major arcana cards down here. And we've got air or swords the prince of air gemini queen of air queen of swords aquarius king of air king of swords libra and not only that sorry 
just needed to share something else with you. Another bit of the learning, it's got whether they are a mutable, fixed or cardinal sign. And then you've got the fire signs, the Prince of Fire, the Queen of Fire and the King of Fire, Aries, Leo and Zag. So those I don't know, 12 little cards can make up an awful lot of other cards. Then as a bonus, when during the Kickstarter campaign, so this is where I come back to, I don't know if these are still included, but um, these are just for interest sake. Um, she included elemental cards, so fire, earth, water and air. The signs were their cardinal, fixed or mutable. And then as an extra, we got um, the moon and goddess cards. So a new moon maiden, waxing quarter mother, Full Moon Queen and Waxing Quarter Crone. Now, sometimes we know as the um, Maiden Mother Crone, um, as, as the three, the Triple Goddess, but she's included four here for the phases of the moon, which I quite like as well. Anyway, that is the deck, the whole deck. And what a deck it is. I love it. It's my faith. Because it can be used for so many things. Now, what I think I'll do is I will do a reading with these two. And I will clarify... As in, these will be used for whatever I feel like at the time. I'm just going to go with the flow with those. These will be probably timing cards. Maybe. I don't know yet. Again, go with the flow. We'll see about those. They're all kind of, let's wait and see. These are used for clarification and... We'll see how we go. So coming up next, I will do the tarot that Aria's just released, the Controversa into a tarot. Um, and there are three styles of those, but I'm only going to show you two. I'll show you side by side. So if, by the time you've seen the two side by side, you'll know what the third will look like. Um, and that way I can show them to you in one, one reading. Um, and we can go like that. Okay, let's get going. I'm going to get a little story for all of those watching. see what's happening for all of those watching okay so we've got something coming in first you might be traveling to a church you might be coming from a church receiving a message from a church But it looks at the moment like you are at a crossroads because you want to move forward. You want to go in a new direction, but you've still got this um, family or historical religious doctrine that you're trying to work in how, what you can take, what you can leave behind, or whether you um, stick with that and take it all with you. 
Um, you might have heard something. Um, heard about some illness. Let's just see. Clarify the church, please. Yeah, you're worried that, and this doesn't have to be a specific church. It can be um, an old set of beliefs, an old set of values. It can be something you heard from an institution style um, that you're starting to doubt and you're, you're wanting to um, break free of because you've realised that they're, it's just it's just empty words that you're getting um, and because of this you're worried that yeah this is a big thing I, and I'm getting a big download that this is to do with the current state of you know um, the link between public venues and parties and stuff and illness and fatigue and how society as a whole is at a crossroads as to how to move forward um, because the old the old way of doing things the the doctrine the what what the um, what the old system used to um, or still is saying um isn't it's it's it it's not right anymore it doesn't sit right with you anymore because you're seeing this as an outcome you're seeing this as a result okay so how are you seeing what's going on how are you seeing what's going on Yeah, you're very emotional about this. And bear with me. I'm hearing things. This is lifetimes. This is um, I don't know who's involved in this. Could be a mother again with the Hierophant spiritual leader or, or guru you're not saying that this is you this is you this sorry I knew I was hearing a lot of things this is an awakening moment because you're seeing how the outdated isn't working at the moment you're in a, a crossroads and you're seeing how the, situ the current situation is causing more of this. But you have a, a spiritual love, a flood of emotions for society, for not just what's happening now, but for, for the generations to come. And you're seeing it in a very grounded, very realistic way. What aren't you seeing? That was interesting. What aren't you seeing?
it is going to bring a lot of new stuff but not before there's a big um, standoff a big standoff The game, the political game that's going on at the moment is clouding the issue. And there's no trust. There's no trust. It's, it's just a... Uh, um, It's just a power and control thing that's going on at the moment. So what can we do about this? What can we do about this? I'm going to include all of these now. That's the child twice now. The child has come into that twice. We need to look at things through a child's eyes, through different, like a different way of seeing things without this old programming embedded. And not buy into all of this tactics and, and crossroads. We need to think like children. And if you look at children, they're incredibly empathetic and they just want to help people and take care of people and they don't see colour or creed or race or um, ability or intelligence or wealth. They just see another person. And this is what we're being asked to do now. So that's what you can do now. Yep, you. You can do this now. Okay, what steps should we take? What steps should we take? Make a plan, find a way to work together, co-create, seeking truth, I love that, and explore the options. Looking at things a new way, with an ex like a child's mind is an explorer's mind. It's the unknown. It's how can I look at this differently? What can I find out about this? Um, how can I explore this? How can I look into this better? And that will bring you rewards. I mean, ultimately, if we're really talking about it, ultimately, this is the universe's plan. We were screwing things up. And the universe has sent us to our rooms to think about what we've done and what's important and how we have been misbehaving and how we can do better. And every time we come out of our room and we stuff up again, we get sent back to our rooms. Yeah, this is a reckoning. It's a reckoning. well and we'll just have a couple more questions hmm. 
Everybody's so tired and so confused. Who do you believe? What do you believe? And that's when you go back to your child's mind and you seek out your true north because you know deep down every single human being knows. Every single one knows deep down. But it's whether or not they take the time out to listen to themselves. Anyway, rant over. Is there any more advice for us? Any more advice for us? Be a catalyst. Fan the flames of change. Don't be this. Don't be this. This, my right for a party is more important than your right to live. Don't do that. Go deep. Look at things from a child's perspective. See this for what it is. This is the sudden unexpected reckoning that we're getting. And this is what all the past has caused us. So if we look new, make a bigger commitment to each other, follow our true north, then it will be a happy, lucky, good fortune. And we'll get a reward from that. I hope you've liked this. In the next um, review... Um, video i'll be doing the tarot so i'll use these as my clarifying cards which i usually do anyway so with that my loves i hope you've enjoyed this deck as much as i do go out and get yourself one it's fantastic and i will talk to you later bye